we're going to see this question in the arrangement shown in figure pulleys are massless and frictionless and the threads are light and inextensible blocks of mass block of mass m1 will remain at rest if so this block should remain at rest while these two blocks can move okay so what is the condition for what is the condition for uh, that four options are given we have to identify which condition will come out to be true so this question is in fact very easy okay see look at this block m1 so m1 g will be acting downwards tension is acting upwards okay so this is your tension t upwards and we have m1 g downwards right since this block is not moving it is in equilibrium so this tension should be equal to m1 g tension should be equal to m1 g now this string is getting transferred over here so here also we will have same tension here also we will have same tension t and since this pulley is massless light okay uh, and smooth so the ten uh, uh, the tension over here will be some of the tension on these two ends and these two will have same tension t1 so this will have tension t1 this will have tension t1 and t will be equal to 2 t1 so we can say that t1 will be t by 2 or t1 will be m1 g by 2 now look at the blocks so for this block t1 is acting upwards m2g is acting downwards for the second block also t1 is acting upwards and m3g is acting downwards right so now we don't know m2 or m3 which one is heavier but we do know one thing that uh, like they will have same acceleration but in opposite direction so suppose m3 goes down with acceleration a so m2 will go up with same acceleration a then we can write down the equation for both of them so for m2 what we can write down since m2 is going up we can say that for m1 t1 minus m2g is equal to m2a for m2 m3g minus t1 m3g minus t1 is equals to m3a right so uh, we have to eliminate a from the equation correct that's all we have to do we have to eliminate a from the equation so for now let's just add them if we add them together we get m3 minus m2 into g equal to m3 plus m2 multiplied by a or what i do i take this term over here in denominator all right so this is my acceleration a right now put the value of a back in one of the equations so for example i have put in this equation t1 minus m2g equal to m2a and t1 is what m1g by 2 so t1 minus m2g is equal to m2a so m1g by 2 minus m2g equal to m2 times what is a m3 minus m2 upon m3 plus m2 multiplied by sorry g okay so g will cancel out from the equation g will cancel out okay so we can now say that m1 by 2 is equal to m2 1 plus m3 minus m2 upon m3 plus m2 so m1 by 2 is equal to m2 m3 minus m2 plus m3 plus m2 so 2 m3 upon m3 plus m2 okay so if i write down 2 by m1 this will be equal to m3 plus m2 divided by 2 m2 m3 take 2 over here so this will become 4 okay so 4 by m1 will be equal to now m3 divided by m2 m3 will give you 1 by m2 and similarly we will get 1 by m3 so this is the answer so the correct answer will be option b all right